Hi, in this tutorial we shall look at determination of empirical and molecular formulas. Example, a compound is analyzed and found to contain 49.48% carbon, 5.15% hydrogen, 28.87% nitrogen, and 16.49% oxygen by mass, and has a molar mass of 184.2 grams per mole. Determine the empirical and molecular formulas of the compound. A solution. Uh, base the calculation. Base the calculation on 100 gram compound. This simply means uh, each percent, each percent. Uh, represents represents the mass in grams for each element. So that's what it means. So in this case we have for carbon we have 49.48 grams the hydrogen we have 5.15 grams nitrogen we have 28.87 grams then oxygen we have 16.49 grams then the second step now is to determine the number of moles for each element we have carbon number of moles for carbon mass is 49.48 grams over 12.01 grams per mole then we calculate the moles for carbon 49.48 divided by 12.01 we have 4.119 moles then moles for moles for hydrogen we have 5.15 grams over 1.00 8 grams, grams per mole. Then we have 5.15 divided by 1.008. This is giving us 5.109 moles. Then moles of nitrogen, we have 28.87 grams over 14.01 grams per mole. Uh, 28.87 divided by 14.01 this is giving us 2.061 moles then moles of oxygen we have 16.49 grams over 16.00 grams per mole 16.49 divided by 16 this is giving us 1.031 moles then now we divide by the smallest by the smallest number of that by the smallest value of the number of moles in this case this is for oxygen we divide it through by the smallest uh, value in this case for carbon we have 4.119 divided by 1.031 this is giving us 3.995 so we can round this to a whole number since the uh, these ratios must be whole numbers 
So carbon is four. Then we come to hydrogen, uh, five point one zero nine divided by one point zero three one. This is giving us four point nine five five. So when we round, this is five. Then we go to nitrogen. Uh, 2.061 divided by 1.031 so we have 1.99 this is 2 then oxygen in this case oxygen is 1 so these are the these numbers now represent the subscripts in the empirical of formula so now we write the empirical formula uh, using the subscripts that we have found so empirical uh, formula for this compound is is equal to uh, carbon carbon is four Hydrogen, hydrogen five, nitrogen two, oxygen one. So this is our empirical uh, formula. Then now we calculate the molecular formula. Molecular uh, formula is equal to empirical empirical formula. n where n is an integer n is molar molar mass over empirical empirical formula formula mass that is our n so we need to find this integer in this case the molar mass given is 190 194.2 grams per mole. Then now we find the empirical formula mass for this compound. So in this case, we have four carbons. So four times 4.01, five hydrogens, then two nitrogens, and one one oxygen so here uh, four four times 12.01 we have 48.04 uh, five five times 1.008 uh, we have 5.04 then here uh, 14.01 2 times 14.01 is giving us 28.02 then plus 16 so we have um, 48.04 plus 5.04 plus 28.02 plus 16 this is giving us 97.1 gram per mole. So this is our empirical formula mass. Then we bring it here, 97.1 gram per mole. Then now we divide, uh, 194 divided by uh, 97, 194.2 divided by 97.1. So it is giving us 2. So in this case, our N is 2. Therefore, molecular, molecular formula, molecular formula is equal to empirical formula, which is this one, uh, C4H5N2O2, which is the same as C. 
C8, H10, NE4, O2. So this is how we can calculate the empirical, uh, empirical and molecular formula. In the next tutorial, we shall look at limiting, determining limiting reactants. Thanks for watching.